Hello everyone, Mies One Jr. here. We're in Stellaris. However, we're featuring um, a conversion, a full conversion mod that I'm a huge fan of. Star Trek New Horizons. We, I tried to do a let's play in this mod slash game before, but <clears throat> I got wrecked by the AI pretty early and then I had to move on to some other things, got busy with, with personal life stuff and by the time I was able to return to it uh, the Heinlein patch had come out and 1.3 broke all everything pre everything pre 1.3 is broken not usable unless you stayed in 1.2 and if we were going to do let's plays in Stellaris we need to be in 1.3 so I'm not going to take those videos down but we will uh, start to we'll start anew um, we're going to we're gonna hold true to the original Let's Play, and we're going to stay with the Klingon Empire. Um, we'll leave everything base. Sounds good. All right, here we go. With fire and steel did the gods forge the Klingon heart. So fiercely did it beat, so loud was the sound, that the gods cried out, Oh, or on this day we have brought forth the strongest heart in all the heavens. None can stand before it without trembling at its strength. The Klingon Empire, led by the illustrious example of Kalos the Unforgettable, stands stronger than ever before. We control numerous worlds, and many more worlds await our glorious armies. How many worthy foes are out there for our warriors to battle? Under the leadership of our Chancellor and the High Council, we shall find out. May you bring glory to your house and to the Empire. Kapla. Such a good start. Like, that's a really powerful opening message. Okay. Um, I really love that in this mod they have greatly developed uh, the... Uh, the tech tree it's it's really astounding the amount of work they've done we have oh some more people okay we have buildings not being worked where I don't um I don't see any unactive buildings. Maybe they're talking about that basic engineering lag? Yes, they are. It has to be it. Okay. Let's take a look at um, the rest of our empire. We're starting off with four colonies, so that's pretty sweet. Starting with a fleet of 12. Okay. Alright, that looks good. We'll let it we'll just let things develop on its own. Alright, our science ship. Just survey everything in sensor range. That yeah, looks good to me. All right, let's go. We'll keep it on fast. Take a look at policies. Unrestricted wars, prohibited slavery. We'll need to change that. Uh, I don't mind that being prohibited. Current policy. 
policy elitism. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll just leave all of that alone for now. built up. And 630 minerals for mining stations in this system. It's a lot of mineral. I am a fan of that. Things are just kind of ticking along. I think we'll bump it up Station the fastest complete. for now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Station complete. 398 Station plants complete. required for domination. All right. Oh, yes. Long range scan of planet complete. Thank you. Um Station complete. I think I prefer that. Interesting. All right. The findings did spark some interdoctrinal debate. Is this proof that the Klingons are the lords of all within creation, or have we simply not yet encountered our brethren from beyond the void? Hmm. Interesting. Scientists gained a level, that's cool. Anomaly found. Go ahead and research that. Station complete. Class L3 Research planet. Complete. Oh, sweet. Yes. A silent enemy after a day in orbit of Istria 4A with no progress in locating the source of the unusual subspace readings Captain Ortakin prepares to give the order to move on to the IKS Jewel's next survey target. Moments later the ship's sensors detect a surge in subspace activity followed by the appearance of an alien ship off the port bow. Hailing the vessel proves fruitless and after several minutes of silent confrontation the ship warps away. Well, follow the ship. Uh, within minutes of the aliens entering warp, the IKS Chul Chul's sensors lock on their vessel. Uh, the locks on their vessel start to deteriorate five minutes more, and the ship has disappeared from sensors completely. Captain Ortakin orders additional power to the sensors, and another subspace disturbance is detected several light hours away. Arriving at the coordinates, the vessel appeared to be attempting to widen the disperse disturbance through, an, through a Tachyoni mission of an unknown nature. However, as the IKS Chabul 
draws nearer the emissions are cut. The vessel raises its shields and powers up what appears to be its weapon. Oh, yep. Full-powered weapons. The IKS Chul surges forward on an intercept course with the vessel. The tactical officer is ordered to disable the enemy's weapons array, and several well placed shots later, the vessel shows visible damage. A spread of torpedoes of unknown form are launched from the enemy ship and strike the IKS Chul's hull. The ship rocks violently. The harmonics of the structural integrity field appear to have rendered the enemy projectiles more potent. A lucky shot penetrates through the IKS Chul's warp core. In a flash of bright blue light, the ship is destroyed, killing all hands. Yeah, that is a... Uh, that's a disaster. That's awful. <laughs> well, so much for... Uh, using that Klingon intuition of... Uh, Attack everything. Um, Research complete. Go with that. Go with that. We'll go with that. So, you, since you are done, and we have. Let's build those mining stations. We need another science ship. All right. That's a huge bummer. Let's go ahead and take a look at leaders. Let's grab us another scientist. Research complete. Station complete. Alright, we'll go with them. Alright. Great. Space piracy. Great. Station complete. Um, take the cheaper recruits, Station. and we Research will actually, complete. oh, hold on, get combat computers going, you are going to go there, and you will go there. Okay, this time though. We'll start here. Go around this way. Station complete. All right. Research complete. Wonderful. Research complete. Take that plus five thousand mineral storage. We'll do the station complete. Plus one maximum Station's rivalries. Complete. Station complete. Station complete. Fantastic. I dig it. Good. Research complete. Long range scan of planet complete. Space Station discriminator. Complete. Power usage 70. Cost. Plus 10% weapons damage. We'll go with that. There's nothing really all that useful in a scallion. It's a bummer. Alright, let's take a look at the surface. Anomaly found. Um Yeah, go ahead.
for creating a food surplus. So one, two, three, four, five. Get more food. The failure. Well, that's unfortunate. Station complete. Uh, probably go mining network. And yeah, pressure dock is fine. Research complete. Station complete. Okay. Yeah, go for it. Anomaly found. Sixty percent habitability. Spatial rift detected. Station complete. Wow, that uh, doesn't have a whole lot of um, stuff available. Active volcano. Dangerous wildlife. Toxic kelp. Oh, it looks like the artwork is not functioning correctly. Interesting. It's good to know. Station complete. Research complete. All right, we are cooking through some research. And I like it. All right. I'm going to go ahead and pause it here, though. Um, that's all the time we have for in this episode. So if you enjoy the video, hit that like button. If you enjoy, if you're enjoying the channel, feel please uh, subscribe. It's the easiest way to keep up with uh, whenever content gets released. Uh, feel free to leave comments. I try and get back to those as quickly as I can. But until next time, I'll see you soon.